The Smart Textiles course is one of the last courses before the students start their master assignment. The Smart Textiles course is a course based on project-based lear project learning pedagogy, and it consists of different teaching forms, such as lectures, exercises, laboratory work, and seminars with experts from academia and industry. During progression of the course, the students will identify their, no their lacking knowledge skills and acquire that knowledge via literature and interviews with experts. Smart textiles are often based on electronics. Though we like to show students as well during this course that smart textiles can also be based on chemistry or physics. And that is, has been done this specific course. A good example is the pine cone. The pine cone opens and closes as a function of humidity, humidity and temperature. And this is exactly what our students did, did in our, their project-based learning assignment. The project that we were given was to produce a textile with inherent interactive venting, where the response can be sensed and electrically interfaced. We were responsible for our own learning, and we had to gather information from different sources, such as different uh, scientific material and also planned lectures with uh, different experts in different fields. The inherent venting was inspired by the reversible opening and closing of the pine cone scale due to changes in humidity. By making a two-layer structure with a hydrophilic and a hydrophobic layer, they will swell differently due to changes in humidity. Uh, tension was applied to, on the hydrophilic layer to make the uh, flap open at the beginning. Uh, when the tactile absorbs water and uh, uh, the hydrophilic uh, layer swell, that will cause the flap close. Uh, to make the tactile sense and uh, indicate the, if the flap is open or closed, or close. uh, a sensor uh, was embedded uh, on the fabric. Uh, it's made out of uh, a sensor, uh, yeah, a sensor and a micro, uh, con micro controller board. So here you can see the two layer structure, and when you spray water on it, the top layer is the hydrophilic layer, and it will elongate and therefore makes the flap close. When the flap gets wet and close, will it be a connection? between the flap and the conductive thread beneath it. And when this connection passes a threshold, will the LID on the microcontroller board light up due to the programming we have created. The microcontroller board is now connected to a computer which acts as a power source. But a battery could also be used instead.